Thank you for watching this short video looking at one of the new enhancements for Enterprise 2013. And this is in regards to auto purchase order creation. If you consider how QuickBooks is now, even with Enterprise, although you can track current availability, there still requires some reports and uh, a few different windows to decide, well, what do I really need to purchase for a particular item? So now QuickBooks is going to do that in a more of an automated way for you based on the reorder point of an item. So if I go to my inventory uh, center for a second, I'm going to just choose a couple ceiling fixtures for the example I drill in. Now notice I have a reorder point of 100, a quantity on hand of 80. However, there's a sales order uh, that has 50, so really availability, I only have 30. So it, all those things to know how to purchase come into play. So how do we save you guys steps and streamline that process? It's going to start with the stock status report. I'm going to go ahead and click on this from the inventory center. And I'm going to filter for this, those two items so it's not so busy for you guys that are watching this. I'm going to do multiple items and I'm going to choose these two ceiling fixtures. So from this report you'll see uh, that I have a reorder point of 100 for each. Here's my on-hand quantity, here's on sales orders, etc. And you would use this to figure out what you have available, what do you really need to purchase. And here's on purchase right now. I already have a couple purchase orders for this. Notice the tab up here, create auto purchase orders. And I can choose use available quantity for reordering, which I do encourage. However, you don't have to. Let me show you the difference. Without choosing this use available quantity for reordering box, I'm going to click uh, create auto POs. Again, it shows that I can just, quantity on hand is 80, on purchase order is 10, I can go ahead and put in what I would like to order. With this box checked, and I click Create Auto Purchase Orders, and it factors in that really my available quantity is on 30, because remember I do have a sales order for 50. Right, so reorder points 100, the reorder points are important. I'm going to check them, the, both of these off, and we're not going to go ahead and, and auto uh, default the quantity to order, like your reorder point plus one. It's just basically going to be what you guys want. You know? So from here I can tell that, you know, at least I'm just going to do 101, but I can tell exactly what I would need just from this window. And I'm going to go ahead and click Create Purchase Orders. Now you might say, well, wait a minute. It says one purchase order is to be created, yet I've checked off two. And that's because if you notice, these particular ceiling fan fixtures have the same vendor. Because right? I have a preferred vendor set up on their items. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create POs. And there's the purchase order. It's already created. I don't have to click Save and Close. And there it is, ready to go. So that's Auto Purchase Order with an Enterprise 2013. Hope that was helpful. Thanks.